Good day everyone, World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I've got to do some running around today. I got to go pick up a quarter of a cow. I bought a quarter of a cow from a local uh, rancher. Um, I like to buy stuff locally. We get our eggs from a, a little girl down the street has some chickens and once a week she'll walk down to our house and drop off some eggs and we'll hand her some cash and then I uh, I buy a quarter cow from a, a lady that's a rancher here and we get our chicken from uh, a place that a local chicken farm that doesn't use antibiotics or hormones and so I'm doing some running around today so I'm gonna be super busy I'm always busy now it seems like I'm super busy but it's it's a good kind of busy it's like where I'm I'm doing productive things and and getting things done. But I wanted to mention Cranky Stacker just had, did a video about uh, exit strategies on silver and I thought it was really important. That's one of my weakest points is, is getting rid of this stuff. Um, I, I used to be, when I was younger, I was like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna sell. And then after you, after you get older, you kind of think about it, that's kind of silly. Why would you, why would you dial it, die with a whole bunch of silver just to give it to your kids? It's nice to give some stuff down as an inheritance, but I've told my kids, I said, they need to, if they want precious metals, they need to buy them themselves. And my, both of my sons are stacking. They are, they're not, they're not buying a lot. They might buy $200 worth of, like my, my younger son, he buys a 10th ounce gold or he'll buy a 10 ounce bar of silver. I told my kids I'm gonna most of this will be gone by the time I die because I, when I get older I'm gonna be spending it like if I, I've always wanted to go to the Isle of Man TT if, if the Isle of Man TT comes around I want to go I'm gonna cash in a few few bars of silver and I'm gonna go to the Isle of Man TT or if I want to go to Egypt and check out the pyramids or right, I'm gonna sell a couple kilos of Silver, this is copper, but uh, sell a couple kilos of s silver and go travel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for life experiences later. It's part of, it's a big part of my retirement. And so, I buy a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that's not really uh, in the in the grand scheme of things. It's beautiful. I love this kind of stuff. Is unique coins. This is more of a bullion coin from Asahi. So these will be a little bit easier to part with, but who knows, maybe these will be start becoming collectible and then I'll get way more attached to them than I should be. And so it, it's hard to imagine selling silver unless you're like having an emergency or something like that. So I, maybe I'll try selling some of the generic stuff that I have that that's not as cool, but then that leaves me with more collectible stuff. So I think the stack collector, I think, would be in a, I mean, I, he's got, all his stuff is like killer. It's like all unique and just beautiful pieces. I would have a hard time parting with, if I had stack collect, the stack collector stuff, that would be tough to figure out which, which item to get rid of. So I guess everybody probably needs to figure out for themselves what, they, what they're going to do when it comes time to sell it. My strategy has always been is when things get tough, um, things that you might want to buy like houses, cars, and other assets are going to be cheaper if people are struggling and in bad times, the precious metals usually go up quite a bit. So if you can get that, that sweet spot of things becoming cheap because of uh, the economy and precious metals getting super expensive because of the economy, then that might be a good time to start liquidating some. Like my plan's always been to sell, sell gold and silver to purchase income producing real estate. More, I've got some now and it, that's kind of the way to go because people have to live somewhere and people need to place for businesses. I wouldn't buy any skyscrapers because those big, the commercial mortgage backed securities are in the toilet. So, but like smaller, smaller office buildings and smaller retail 
businesses in areas that are conducive to retail success. And then duplexes and three triplexes and fourplexes, multifamily stuff. Um, you can buy, uh, I think it's up to a fourplex and you can still get a conventional loan. If, you, if you've got five units, then that falls under commercial, which is a whole different loan. I've got a commercial loan on the office building that I have. And it's not as, uh, I can't remember the specifics of why it's not as good, but residential loans are way better. So anyway, just a quick one. I'm going to put a link to Cranky Stacker's video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to him, you should. He's got, he's a, he's an older guy like I am, and he's got really good, uh, really good wisdom. He, th he thinks about stuff and it's always good to, to listen to older stackers that like us and I don't know. I don't have much specific stuff, but it's good to always listen and learn. Learning's the biggest thing. But anyway, that's about it. Another short video today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And remember, kindness is contagious. I hope you guys have an awesome day.